Ask Reddit. Parents, what's something all teenagers need to hear? Learn to say no. If a request makes you uncomfortable you can say no, even it's to family or friends. It's healthy to set boundaries and learn to respect others people's too. If your parents are good people, you should try talking to them about your problems. Don't let embarrassment get in the way. Just because you pop out a baby doesn't mean it'll keep your so around, and at times it'll make them break up with you. To that part, just because you have the kid doesn't mean it'll unconditionally love you, especially when you're a shitty parent. These are things my idiotic friends had made when we were young. Choosing to get knocked up at a wrong time in life has shaken lives to rubble at points. To my former teenage self, when they say, don't do drugs until your brain is fully developed, there's a reason, and you should listen. I knew you were masturbating, I'm just not going to say anything. As an older teen talking to my younger teen self, have some patience you fuck. Your parents are just flawed people too. They are, mostly, trying their best, but will still make mistakes. There are lots of paths to a successful happy life, not just the one that involves straight A's in the Ivy League or other top colleges. Your body parts won't all grow at the same speed. Don't panic, everything will probably even owe you. 1. Work on improving yourself and your interests now. It will set you up for more success later and likely will attract others to you. 2. None of social structure slash drama shit is going to matter once you're out of school so don't worry about what others think, you just do you. It's completely legal for a teenager to buy all the equipment and ingredients to make beer, just saying. A lot of people try to glamorize high school and make you think your high school years are the best years of your life. For a lot of people, this just isn't true. It's okay not to like high school or to feel like you don't belong. You are not alone. It gets better. High schoolers deal with a lot of heavy shit. A lot of mental illness comes to light at this age, including depression and anxiety, but also heavier stuff. Many who struggle with these issues won't get help until years later. High school kids also deal with a lot of issues, like identity issues, bullying, pressure to conform, disputes with parents, the pressure associated with juggling work, school, and life that often get better once high school is done. Hang in there, it does get better. Cliques and high school mentality exist forever. Some people just never grow up. Build good health habits now. If you're not already active, find a simple active hobby you can do. Take up Pokemon Go or take up bike riding or something. Also, learn how to cook some basic and healthy meals like chicken pesto pasta or fried rice. The healthier you are as a teen the easier it is to stay healthy as an adult that we love and care about them, I think we often get caught up in day to day life and forget to tell them this. It's okay to take some time to take care of your mental health, nobody will hate you for I. Delete your internet profiles every few years. Your boss in 5 years does not want to see your shit from today and we all post dumb shit. Google yourself and make sure those accounts are deleted as well. That we miss you. And we actually want to spend time with you, not because of how you were, our little boy slash girl, but because we are in awe of who you are, and want to get to know you better, so you know we love you unconditionally but also that it's okay, and fun to hang out sometimes, soon you'll be leaving home, time passes quickly, and we want to create as many good memories as we can for you, so you can use them for, when the world is not so kind, and I'm not around, to give you a hug, you're amazing. You've always been, and I know your life will be filled with ups and downs, but I hope the love we share reminds you that you'll always have a soft spot to land. Don't smoke, do heroin, or get arrested. When I was teenager I was going through a really rough patch where I felt I might have depression. I didn't know who to talk to, so I thought I'd ask my doctor about it. I told him I thought I might be depressed and asked if he had any suggestions on what to do. He laughed at me and said, you're not depressed, you're just a teenager. I never went back to that doctor again, but I also didn't open up to anyone about the way I felt again. 
I went through a really self-destructive period following that using drugs, alcohol, and self-harm to cope, and about to flunk out my school, which was one of the best private schools in the city. I was at a real low point, and one night, when I was set on killing myself, my dog Snippy convinced me not to, and made me want to try and get better. I finally decided to try and get some help again, and after I did I wished I had done it sooner. My point is, don't be afraid to ask others for help. Wanting to better your mental health is nothing to be ashamed of, even if it might feel that way. 1. Your emotions won't be this intense forever, but they are real and valid. My parents always invalidated my feelings. Too dramatic, it's just your hormones, you'll grow out of it, you don't know how good you have it, while on some base level they possibly were right, it didn't mean my feelings weren't real and intense in that moment. Allow yourself to feel what you feel, but don't wallow, or feed the depression kitty, it does get better. 2. If social media makes you feel shitty, just stop. It makes everyone feel shitty, even the people whose lives seem so much better and glamorous than yours. Chances are, they're posting that stuff, to not feel shitty too. Remember, everyone is posting their greatest hits. Remember, everybody poops, even the girl posting glam pics from Greece. She probably pooped right before, or after the pic. Point is, don't get wrapped up in that. Take a month or two break from social media, and see how you feel. 3. You don't have to go to college. And you also don't have to not go, if you don't know what to do with your life. You'll figure it out, maybe get inspired by your classes. And, as long as it will not launch you into a huge debt, it is okay to major in something you might not end up getting a career in. To an extent. College is more than career training. It's a much bigger learning experience about everything. People, the world, yourself. Don't dig a debt, work very hard, have lots of fun, and try to keep your eyes on a career path, but also absorb everything like a sponge. 4. I hated when people told me, you won't even miss high school when you're older. I did, for a little bit. And now, I really don't. As important as it is as a state of your pre-adulthood, in the big scheme of things, it's just a tiny chapter. So don't get hung up on the mistakes you made, or the drama you had. Appreciate the experience for what it gave you, and move on. 5. Lastly, and where I go all old lady, please put your phone away in the car. Even at stoplights. Just wait until you arrive. You may be super used to it, but it only takes one second of an attention to become potentially fatal. Someone just died in my neighborhood for this very reason. Sending a snap. It can wait. Calm down. You don't need to know what you want to do with the rest of your life right now. Take your time, and look at many different avenue. Procrastinating is like masturbating. You are only fucking your soul. Be calm when arguing your point of view. Accept criticism, shrug off the type of personal attacks, and add homonyms that don't contribute to the debate. And don't measure how right you are by number of upvotes or downvotes. Right now you have options. Figure out what you want. Every bill you get, every responsibility you add to you life takes away options. Eventually people have all these bills and kids and marriages, or whatever, but it's all responsibilities that you are going to have. It might take a few years to figure out, no big deal. Just don't go buy that new car, because you want to be cool, you just took away a little bit of freedom. Live free now, you have very few responsibilities. Do all the crazy dumb shit, fail at business. We need more entrepreneurs, do it and fail now. Because when you're 30 with a family and career and you didn't take that chance, when you were a teen, early 20s, it will tug at you every day. Don't allow the internet to make you miss the human experience. Use the internet to enhance your real life. Don't use it to escape from it. You are part of a generation that is likely to have an online friend before even have a real life friend. It's okay to have online friends, but to have only online friends and not have actual friends you can touch and see face to face. That's what I call missing the human experience. There is nothing like face to face interaction. Yes porn is awesome, but can you compare it to a real girlfriend? Internet can be addictive, like any drug, if you manage it well it can actually improve life, but too much of it could make you have no life. There are already the first rehab centers for online addiction. There's nothing wrong with not liking to talk to people, as long as you're friendly. 
Don't force yourself to be talkative. Just because others want you to be. You'll still need to learn social skills like gauging trustworthiness, effective communication, and helpfulness. However, you don't need to force yourself to be talkative to be socially adept. You do it have to be mindful.